What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another ed edition of Nature's Jewels. I'm Mr. Crawlings, and I got me a six-spotted tiger beetle. Actually, the reason I'm doing for this video now is because I originally had picked up seven, I want to say. And this is my first beetle species. And I think they're just so pretty. That metallic green with like blue legs. And they got like this little white face on them. I'm not going to be able to get it on here, but uh, I'm down to one. So I'm guessing uh, the individual that I bought these from had them for a while. And uh, they're kind of getting towards the end of their life cycle right now. Because beetle, beetles actually go through like uh, three different stages or two different stages at least. I know they go through a larval stage. Or, well, they do the eggs. And then the eggs hatch out into the larval, which turn into like a grub. Um, and these guys actually, their grubs stage is kind of like an antlion, if you guys are familiar with antlions. And then they pupate out into these, adult, these beetles as adults. Um, and then the process starts all over again. But uh, they were just too cool to pass up. I'm going to try to go ahead and rotate this around so I can get that little face. They got these huge eyes. They're wicked. Oh. Yeah, they're wicked fast. They run in these little bursts. And apparently, I don't know if you guys know anything about tiger beetles, but uh, they're some of the fastest insects in the world, running-wise. Um, I read somewhere that if an Olympic sprinter could run at 458 miles an hour or something like that, that would be the equivalent of how fast these guys move. They run so fast. Some, some of the species run so fast. They actually uh, go blind or get tunnel vision while they're sprinting, so they have to stop to refocus on their prey. So, you know, I don't know. Pro and a con there. Also, beetles can fly. Um, so you always run that risk of your beetle flying away when the enclosure's open. But I've I've noticed with uh, the seven that I had of this species. Um, they're not really that bad about like trying to fly away. Maybe if you were handling them and they were on your finger or something, they might try to take off on you, but, um, they're just a gorgeous, gorgeous species. And I was super happy to have the opportunity, no matter how short it was. Um, cause I think it's only been like a month or something like that. So I kind of feel like I got duped, but, um, the individual did tell me that the, the group of seven were, um, breeding in their previous container which I had to remove them from because there was tons of mites but that's also an issue with having beetles so keep that in mind also if you if you're keeping beetles um, probably it, it best to keep them quarantined and and even uh, as a safety feature or measure uh, probably not near your tarantula collection so I'm, I'm thankful I did not do that. But uh, yeah, just a gorgeous, gorgeous species. I'm super happy. I hope that I got some eggs in the soil. I'm actually going to make up a big tub uh, with some, uh, some substrate. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to get some of those eggs to incubate and hatch out. And uh, get some more of these gorgeous little creatures. guys keep it keep it crawling and i'll see you next time on nature's jewels